Hello and welcome again. Now, uh, last time we are talk we were uh, just configuring the PF sense and we uh, uh, configuring the SSH services. Now uh, I forget that it's from the advanced system, advanced, and you can also change the web configurator to work on HTTPS. And this is the web configurator default certificate which is perfectly fine also we will change it and also you can change the web configurator port so enter custom port to make it or leave it as uh, 443 now maximum process how much uh, how much web configurator process you want to run so if you are the only man just leave it as one or just leave it as it is uh, what else we have here the shell secure shell and uh, by default SSH or the secure shell works in port 22 now uh, if you are co you have co security concerns about uh, two to, uh, about the SSH uh, and uh, you don't want to use authorized keys you want to use your password and you are worried about brute force attack uh, shell brute force attacks because, because uh, these attacks programmed to work on port 22 so you can just like 15,458 you will worry how you can uh, remember this uh, number anyways it's work in 22 by default so you don't need to write anything here and uh, that's it now you can work in HTTPS but it's um, connected to the same PC on the same network and you can also change the HTTP port like uh, if you want you can make it 8080 or 8090 anyways now how we can uh, provide the, the keys now you can see that in the system user manager you can go to the edit menu and you can drop down to this and you authorize key click this and go to your shell now here you can go where I'm, I'm here if you, I will show you and this is my home now how can I see my uh, my uh, SSH or key copy and we will move right here and say paste and save now uh, sorry uh, we, we see yeah, yes yes we see how uh, without uh, keys yeah that's it you are inside your router uh, uh, you can do anything you want from here but uh, now we we are going to uh, to turn off the TSCP server on our LAN. Now this this that's it. That's everything you want. Now uh, after this, you can go and uh, go to the advanced and go to disable password. So if we say disable password and save now from here you can see session closed that's it but anyways now uh, let's uh, um, no 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 we'll not do that anyways uh, yeah yeah let's do it and we will go to the web configurator and make it uh, work again okay uh, let's do this let's do this we can say now we are exited from here and we should go and disable and enable the SSH key and we will go to here and we'll go to the edit menu and we will remove the RSA now what will happen no permission denied I can't I don't have 
the key. I I, de I need to uh, to make a search something broken. So to fix this, you can go here. Uh, so he will tell you a hint that there is something with a public key, uh, but uh, you don't have the public key, and he will not give you a try to use your uh, password. That's it. You are done. But we can fix this from here, and we provide our key. Okay. Thank you. Save now. Now uh, we will go to to our virtual box, and we will go to the network, and we will go to the VM net virtual box net zero, and make a uh, disable. Sorry, we will make disable for uh, DSCP server. We can see now. Uh, let's see. Just one moment. This is an old Windows PC. This is uh, Windows XP service pack. I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go here and see. Let's uh, turn this disable. Okay, maybe it's not going to work. Mm. Maybe the lease, uh, I think there is something wrong. Why? Because we turn off the DSCP server, we should. Now I will tell you what what uh, I did when I stopped the recording uh, by using the magic of the video. Uh, I found that you can stop uh, you can stop uh, the, the VM Net Zero DHCP server. So I changed the uh, I go to my virtual box and I go to networks. Do you see this? I can't disable the SCP server even as disabled maybe I should turn off uh, virtual box disable it turn off and re-enable it uh, just for the case of uh, VMnet 0 uh, but I just decided to use one of the others which uh, the, does not have the SCP server so by the way I go to here and uh, I change this can see now network vmnet1 and vmnet2 vmnet3 and also for uh, windows xp vmnet0 now uh, i did uh, what we did in the past i too and changed that and everything fine uh, now uh, we can see we can uh, go but rather than go to 192.168.150 we should go to 17.254 and this will be admin and 123123 and that's it we are now you can see now what we have we have since uh, missing SSH key somebody is trying to uh, get into our system we know that because we are supposed to go to our system but now we have problem with our connectivity here so what should we do we should go to the system services okay thank you we should first make it larger for you for your relaxation now uh, we have the SCP server we can enable the SCP server on the LAN uh, deny a known host uh, so anybody uh, the, uh, only the client defined below will get the SCP leases 
which is here you can see now uh, you can provide uh, uh, more uh, uh, more than one PC with the MAC addresses and then you provide the thing now here you can enable and you can deny a known clients uh, which is perfectly fine and we showed uh, no not six it's seven now and it's from 10 to let's say 200 and should say seven because it's seven I think yeah it's seven okay and here with server DNS servers uh, we don't need DNS server gateway what is your gateway 192.168.57.254 domain name uh, one hour networking dot lab what's your search list what default least time uh, fine fine fail over beer if you have more than redundancy which is uh, we say we will talk about this in more specific details in later uh, videos now uh, static arb j format dynamic dns mac address control ntp server we can say now the ntp server will be 192.168.0 five se seven because uh, our firewall also provide sorry five seven two two five four also provide NTP server and also you can copy this and paste it now TFTB server LDAP enable network booting additional services save well I think maybe we should deny a known host let's see what we can get okay let's see here mm. has been successfully okay you can restart the DSCP server that's fine okay go back oops what's wrong okay services DSCP server mm. now let's uncheck this just for can go to DSCP leases and see show show active don't have anything so now let's go to properties and let's do anything like 192.168.0 that's it okay oh sorry just uh, I want to make it faster okay close and you have connection established and now let's close this let's close again we will go and we will make this and you will start searching for the SCP server or you can press repair or something or disable enable mm. let's make sure it's in the right network which is VM1 ok services this CP server it's running what's wrong It's 
still nothing. Okay, let's go to the assigned interfaces and go to the LAN and you will see what's wrong here. Look, no, 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 fine, fine, fine. Okay. No. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Don't know. Okay, uh, this is enough for now, and we will continue continue by uh, configuring DSCP and DNS and other services next time at NTP and.